All right, so I've had the Garmin Approach Z30 for about two months now. Um, kind of wanted to make a video, kind of more of a walkthrough of the features, how to access them, how to use them, um, and kind of a little bit more about it and see if I can kind of help all those that might be a little confused or want to know a little bit more about it. So that's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be a short walkthrough of all the features and everything they can do and kind of give you step by step how to get to the and step by step how to get to those features. So without further ado, let's get into it and I'll show you a little bit about this. So as the approach Z30 for something like a serious golfer or more of a casual golfer, um, both you could use this as a standalone unit right out of the box, range everything like every other range finder, but you could also use it as a serious golfer to know all those numbers integrated with all the software, the app, get the contours, get all the distance that you need. So it is kind of a nice thing to have everything to be able to mark it, save it, screenshot it, whatever, so you able to have it um, for your round or prepare for a round or a tournament. So one thing people don't know is it's actually waterproof. So it's got your regular weatherproof, so you're out there in the rain, it's going to be fine in the weather conditions, but it also can go about one meter underneath water and submerged and can be there for 30 minutes. So it's kind of a cool thing, so in case for some reason you click your fine my and it's in the water, you're kind of freaking out, and you go to look and it is in the water, but you have about 30 minutes time period to go retrieve that and that's kind of a nice thing because at least you have a good amount of time to be able to retrieve and it should be fine like i said it is tournament legal this turns on blue it's solid it's got slope indication you can take that off so it is tournament legal for all you for all those people who want to use this in tournament yes you can just like any other range finder does have the capabilities to use that in a tournament and has no issues with that since Garmin is very known for the GPS system, yes, this is a very accurate system. It can lock in a distance within seconds. I've had no issues with that. Um, even with my, you know, golf course, we don't really have a, there's like those prisms within the flag. I think that's what they're called, where it's easy to lock into a flag. We don't have those, but I do have a very easy time, even without those locking the distance. It really doesn't get the trees in the back one, which I like. Um, sometimes, you know, you'll hear people with range finders. They have issues with it locking more into the background, not exactly the flag, but this, I have not had much issues with that, and it does lock into the pin really well. So since it does lock in with the range finder to the watch, so like right here, I just kind of have an example of one of the holes we have at Southern Hills. We've got, you can kind of see, and I'll put a closer view, but you have the slope right here. What is nice is like sometimes if you're going to range a distance, let's say from above, even if you don't have a blind shot in the next shot, let's say for you have a blind shot, you range it from above, you got the distance, it's locked in for the whole hole. So on your watch, if you're using the watch, it's going to be locked in, and you'll be able to tell exactly where the pin's at. And you have an idea, so when you're locked up above, to when you get down below in a blind shot, how much room do I have from the front and the back, but also where's the hole sloping? Um, so you can say, okay, if it's sloping, everything's sloping towards the hole, I can hit something a little bit shorter and hopefully run it up. Or if it's sloping back, I might want to hit something back and roll it back. Um, so it helps a little bit more with strategy when you're playing those practice rounds or something um, to kind of get a better feel of where things are at. I think that's where it really, really does kick in with all the technology that you can get with all the Garmin devices. I think everything integrating with each other does work really well. The price point, this does come in at $399.99 at Garmin.com. So if you're looking to find a range finder, this does come in at $399. Um, the Z82, I want to say it's about $599. So a little bit of a difference in price range. Um, even though it says a little bit simpler, um, I like it because it does integrate with the watch. But if you're looking for something that can kind of do both per se, um, the Z82 may not be the worst option. But I do like to be able to have these two paired up together. You got the find my feature. So let's say you're on hole six and it has to, you have to activate it. So it's not just like your phone where it's constantly connected. The way it connects to your phone is you push this button and it'll connect to your phone. So the, when it connects to your phone, it doesn't automatically fully connect to your phone the whole round. So you have to constantly push this, which I would like to maybe see it be a constant connectivity but that might drain the battery so you kind of have to figure out what you want what pros and cons of things but let's say you're in hole six you range the distance you actually forget in hole six you can go on the app look at the find my garmin and it'll actually find out where you last range the distance so at least you have an idea of, okay 
I can look at hole six, look around hole six, see where it might be. So at least you have an idea of where it might be lost. Now you might be able to get exact, but at least you have an idea of where your Garmin devices are lost. So what does it come with in the box? It comes with the rangefinder, obviously, and it comes with this nice hard case that's just like the other ones. I think this is a nice upgrade is to be able to have this band right here. So you have to constantly unzip it. You just push this tab up and it constantly can easily get easy access to the rangefinder. So I do like that. Comes with a hand strap. I don't personally use it. I kind of just like it just like this. So um, also comes with a white cloth, the directions, manuals, and stuff like that. And it does come with a CR2 battery that lasts up to a year. It comes with a nice carrying case. I've said that in the video when I first got it. Um, it has held up really well. Um, has haven't had any problems. I do like to have this feature where it's unzipped. And all I do is I just push this over top to that pin. And I do like that ability to do that part. Um, it does keep it easier when you have it on your bag to just open it up like that and just access the rangefinder right there. The optical has a six times zoom. It can go up to about 400 yards, which to me, it's about the most I want anyways. I'm not trying to range something 500 yards away, to be honest with you. I think that'd be kind of useless in any scenario. So the only thing I'm worried about is it can go up to 400 yards, and that's about the max that I would do anyways. So like I said earlier, it's compatible to sync with your compatible devices like the S70 that I have right here and other Garmin watches that have those capabilities. One of the other cool features is when you're pinning the distance down, you can see when you range and lock in the pin, you can see how far you have back and how far you have front of the green to that pin. So let's say the pin's in the middle, it'll show you how far you have to the back of that green and how far you have to the front of the green. So I think that's a really nice feature that I can kind of gauge if I want to spin it back, if I want to lay it and run it up. Uh, so it gives me a lot of different features with wind and all that stuff. It does have a play like feature. You can have the slope on here so you can tell where it plays with the slope added onto it. So you do have a slope feature on this and it does come in handy when you're maybe, let's say, trying to scope out a course you never played before. So you're playing a practice round trying to get an understanding how far slope would affect the ball and all that stuff. So this does come in handy. It does have a slope feature just like the other range finders you find out there on the market. The big thing that they came out with this year is the magnet. You can magnetize this to your cart, and I think that's a big feature because it did lack that last model. So this one did come in handy when you have the ability to put it on a golf cart. Um, it does come in very handy because you can just automatically reach up, grab it, range the distance, and then put it back. So to me, that's a big one. Um, to be able to not have that last time was kind of a negative, but this came in really nice to be able to have that magnet and it's a very sturdy rack magnet i've kind of tested it see how good it does by kind of rubbing you know running it around kind of pushing it off to see if it does but it does hold up pretty well battery life i've had no problems i've used it almost every day and it's still going great um should have one year worth of battery on the replaceable battery and that's one thing i like about this model is you do have the battery instead of the usb cable i would have times where I would forget to charge it and I'd not be able to have it and I didn't have the watch at the time so I didn't have anything to play with so I kind of just had to use the app somewhat to get distances and everything like that so it is kind of nice to just have it simple to where you just have a battery because sometimes I can be forgetful and not charge my device so that is kind of a plus so you can sync this to the Garmin app and you have range relay. So what range relay is, is when I range this distance, it's going to have a range relay, basically an arc of where that distance is. So let's say it's 150 yards to the pin. It's going to arc 150 yards. So you're missed to the right, missed to the left. So you know exactly how far 150 yards would go depending on what club you use. And just like any range finder, it's got a simple on and off button, but it also has the ability to go on tournament mode. So if I hold this here, you should eventually get this blue indicator light to go on here it's blinking so what's the difference between this model the z82 um i think this one's just simple um i would find myself when i'm ranging the distance i would be like this instead of actually like looking at the distance because it had a digital map on there to basically show you your front back middle pin like it had basically what you'd have on your watch literally what you had on your watch on the range finder. So I caught myself just like in the cart, just doing this and looking down and looking at the numbers instead of actually like ranging the distance. So this actually gives me the ability to like 
hone in on trying to get a distance to the pin, but then the front back feature, once you lock it in, I think is really nice. I mean, it's got the same fill, um, got the same white and black look. I do like the red touch. <clears throat> I do like the red touch here. Um, and like I said, the replaceable battery is different and the magnet. So um, even though it's a little bit more simple this time around, I do think it is a better version um, just because I do actually try to use it like a range finder instead of like a watch. And this is where the tech part starts to get really cool. So Garmin's obviously a leader and when it comes to GPS devices and what they do sometimes is how it can sync to the watch. What is nice about that is like I said, when you range in the distance, it locks into the pin and it locks into it the whole round. Um, so you can go ahead and figure out, okay, even if you're looking at the app, you can understand where the pin was that day. But other than that, do I recommend this? I think I recommend it just because it has, even though it's a little bit more simple than the last model, it forces you to use it, but it also forces you to think because there's things that you never really thought of before, but it also gives you the opportunity to think and strategize. And with every Garmin device, it's top of the line accuracy. You know you're gonna get accuracy beyond any other competitor. So I think to be able to trust the accuracy that Garmin's gonna give you, I think is the motivation to maybe buy one of these. So if you wanna know that something's accurate, I'd go with one of these and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. It's going to be a very good device for you, especially if you have a watch to be able to pair it to. If not, pair it with the app and you'll just, it'll work out just fine. But other than that, thank you for watching the video of this Approach Z30. Um, if you want to see more golf videos, um, subscribe to my channel. Got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching the Z30 video. Like and subscribe. We'll see you later.